we seem to be getting to a point of consistent confidence in our real estate market and there's even been a bit of a spike with new inventory coming on. Hey guys, I'm Jessica with Team Macias of eXp Realty bringing you our Wednesday update on the coronavirus and its effects on our San Diego real estate market. So looking over the last seven days, 976 new listings have come on the market, 646 homes have gone under contract, and two weeks ago, those numbers were 691 new listings with 569 homes going under contract. So we've seen more of an increase again uh, and, and with new listings and homes going under contract. What I'm noticing is that the first week of the month seems to be the most active, especially with new inventory coming on. So I'm, I'm interested to see how May plays out because in March, and April, we had a spike in inventory with a slight change as the month went on. And that's pretty normal uh, if you look at years past with our market as well. Um, what, I'm gonna see, what I'm seeing here and where I see us heading, looking at pr our previous data and the weeks leading up to today, uh, last week I had a, a bit of a prediction that there could potentially become a higher level of inventory with uh, more homes available and uh, less buyers acting, creating a bit more of a, a stable, uh, even market. And I think this spike this week um, and us continuing to increase with levels on both ends, I think we're going to be far, it's far fetched to think that we're going to be getting to a buyer's market anytime soon. I think that home values are going to continue to appreciate. I think we're going to continue to have activity in the market with lots of buyers and interest and I think that's going to continue through for quite a while. So what I'm seeing personally, uh, I, I just the other day negotiated where we were in competition with five other offers and had to negotiate in as the first backup offer uh, because things got so crazy. And I have a colleague of mine who listed a home and had over 10 offers selling for 30,000 over asking and they're going to do a 15 day closing period, which is insane. So there's still a lot of competition and a lot of activity going on. Uh, I think that if you're someone who's looking to sell your home, it is a great time to take advantage of this opportunity. The interest rates for buyers are incredibly low. So when you're buying and you're able to save so much money, uh, buyers really should take advantage of it and sellers should take advantage of the buyers with that opportunity and be able to sell their homes for top dollar and make as much in their pocket. So, um, if you have any questions about these numbers and how they affect your specific area, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. We're here to help strategize. You can reach me directly at 619-995-5792. Uh, also, please subscribe to our channel so you can continue to get these updates. You can like our Facebook page. They also will be posted there. In the description of this video, there is also a link that you can click to sign up and receive notifications. Uh, and, and again, as I've said before, if you're in a need or necessity to make a move, whether you need to purchase or sell your home, there is a plan and a strategy that we can ensure fits your needs. Uh, there are still ways to achieve success in this market and break records in your neighborhood, and I would love the opportunity to help however possible. Uh, again, you can reach me at 619-995-5792 or go to my calendar directly at calljessica.com and schedule a time that works best for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will have another update for you next Wednesday. Stay safe and take care.